Previously on The Bill. I've just found out I'm pregnant. But Patrick's delighted though, isn't he? Now you need this knife to vanish. I need Dennis Weaver kept in the dark. My lips are sealed. I'm going to tell Paul it's over. I've been raped. I couldn't get a cab. I mean, I, I put my hand up. Anyway, I was so desperate to get home that I took the shortcut. And this man attacked me. Appeared out of nowhere. Grabbed me around my neck. Grabbed my breasts. So he wanted to rape you? I've tried to deny that, but yeah, I think he did. And if that other man hadn't come along and driven him off, I'd... You were really lucky. Yes. Yes, I wasn't raped. No. You should report this, Laura. I've told you. I don't know if I'm going to report it yet. Stop the ball rolling. The questions and examinations. Yeah, we will. Well, just don't think about that. Tell me exactly what happened. Well, it was my own fault. Oh, thank you. Oh, come on. Decided to walk down this alley. Two minutes and I'll be home. You said you'd spent the evening with friends? Yeah. Yeah, Donna and Martin. We used to we used to see a lot of them before Jack moved out. But this was the first time I'd been out with them on my own, you know? Single. God. What is it about being 50 and alone? Makes you feel so vulnerable. Yeah, well, we want to be strong and independent, don't we? But at the end of the day, you shut the front door. There's no one to talk to. I begin to wonder if you actually exist. I wasn't drunk. I was tipsy enough to walk home. Nothing prepares you for what happens, June. The pain is smell. The weight of him. He had a knife. I think he used a condom. Only lasted a couple of minutes. Felt like forever. Right, can you describe him? No, I didn't see his face. It was too dark. He was behind me. And what about the clothes you were wearing at the time? Yeah, well, I'm sorry. There won't be any forensics, because I had a shower and I put my clothes in the wash. And I know I should have known better. That's all right. You can still report it. Yeah. And let everyone know the DCI's wife got herself raped. Try not to think ahead like that. Just take it one step at a time. OK, so what happens now? We go down the refuge? Yeah, that's the procedure, and we should get down there as soon as possible. But, Laura, that man is still out there. He could rape again. Two conditions. One, you speak to your superintendent. I don't want Jack to know. Two, will you come back and stay with me after? Please. Sure. Right, thank you for that, sir. And I'll let you know if there are any developments. Good morning. Who is that? That was Superintendent Akaro. He's agreed to pass your case on to Barton Street. They're going to investigate it, but I'm going to remain attached to sew it. So Jack doesn't need to know? Well, not yet. No, but why don't you want to tell him? I don't want him involved. We're separated. It's none of his business. So how are you feeling this morning? Oh, hungover. You, uh, you rather rashly said last night that you wouldn't mind retracing your steps. I mean, it might jog your memory, but it would certainly help to build up my statement. 
You still up for that? Yeah, okay. Started it, I'll see it through. Good. The personal ad burglaries. This bloke dates women off the internet, then robs their homes. And our prime suspect is Keith Cavell. Well, June got him inside the flat and made sure he clocked the security code. So yesterday's offer was a success? Yeah, he also had access to the keys. So if the MO's the same, it shouldn't be too long before he has a pop. Only this time, the old flat will be wired through to CAD. Absolutely. Keep our fingers crossed, we shouldn't have to wait too long. Get your fingers crossed about what? Oh, Mickey will fill you in. Personal ad burglaries, Gov. Can we just keep it up to speed? Sure, we can keep it all under control. Morning, Debbie. Gov, you all right? Yeah, great, yeah. You got some work to do? Hey, Mickey. He's in a good mood. Do you think he's got lucky? Mickey, he's seen someone, isn't he? Can't hear, is it? None of my business. Gossip like that is everyone's business. Finished? Just because you haven't got someone special in your life. Where did they say the alarm had gone off? Number 17, the Obbo flat. You stay here. Cameron? It's your first day back from sick leave. They've already got you pushing around on patrol. You are not superwoman. Yeah? Who says? Camped on black motorcycle towards Larkford Road. Yep, received. Right, the ambulance is on its way. You get the details? Two kids on skateboards robbed him. One of them had a stun gun. A stun gun? Was he sure about that? Recognised it off the internet. You seen what them things can do? They're instant laxatives, they are, mate. I'm telling you, no wonder he handed over his cash. Which was probably nicked anyway. What do you mean? It's the victim, Gary. He looks like a user to me, mate. Come on. I don't remember anything else. You can. I was drunk. Try. I am trying. It's hard. Okay, so he attacked you from behind. Um, yeah. How did he grab you? He, uh... He put his arm around my neck and he dragged me backwards. Um, and he threw, threw me down on something soft. And I fought him. So I know they say don't fight. say he didn't speak. Oh, that's right. And you sure you didn't see his face at all? No, I didn't. Or any other part of his body? No. Only his jeans and his trainers. Can you describe them to me? The trainers were smart. New. How do you know that? Because I was so white. It's a driving license. That's Pete Merlis. That's the man I dated. Yeah, it's also Keith Cavell who's the prime suspect in our personal ad investigation. And according to this, it's neither.
Look at that. Yeah, it's called self-defense. What, 300,000 volts off a 9-volt battery? Yeah, and all yours for $25. Yeah, well, maybe in the US, mate, but not over there. It's a prohibited weapon, that. They won't send that off recorded delivery. Yeah, well, it's obviously not that prohibited if our skateboarding friend could get his hands on one. We need to find out how. Come on. Where are you going? Do some digging in BIU. You try, Chris. I'm going to get on a crib. Come on. Morning, Dean. You all right? Hey, guys. How's it going? That was quick. <sighs> so you lost him, then? We've got three boxes in here, mate. Did you get an ID? Uh, white male, 510. Slim build, black leathers helmet. What kind of bike was he riding? Uh, couldn't tell you. Well, it was going very fast. Yeah, well, that's what they do. Must have used a key to get in. Not with a personal lab burglar on it. Ah, you got him on tape. Yep, from start to finish, honey. You can run, but you can't hide. Yeah, all right, sir. If there's any more news, I'll let you know straight away. Right, you ready? Yeah. Now, you're happy that it's a man dealing with this? Yeah, just as long as he knows what he's doing. I've heard he's very good. Too much information. Here we go. You got something? I think so. Right. Dominic Saunders arrested two months ago for shoplifting and in possession of a stun gun which was confiscated. Where? A shop called Slacker. Yeah, I know Slacker. Sells skateboards and stuff, the whole package. Have we just cross reference? This looks better. Slackers is obviously a hangout for a lot of Sun Hills dodgier kids. It's Dominic Saunders, though? Yes. <coughs> oh, who was the arresting officer? It was Cameron. Sergeant Ackman? Yeah. DC Terry Perkins, I'm the investigating officer. Hi, this is Mrs. Mellows. Laura. Terry. Come with me. I'm sorry to keep you waiting, but I had to brief forensics at the crime scene. Now, I've read the examination notes from the refuge, and apparently you knew the man who assaulted you, is that correct? Well, I might have done, yeah. Yeah, I knew him as Keith Cavell, but according to his driving licence, his name's Keith Brennan. Huh. Laura knows him as Pete Merlis, our prime suspect in a burglary investigation. He gets around this boy, doesn't he? Sure does. You're a lot quieter in here. Come through. Have a seat, Laura. Thank you. When was the last time you saw Keith Brennan? Um, about, about two weeks ago. Why did you stop seeing him? Well, I suppose I felt that after three dates, we either um, move on, thank you, or we call it a day. So I put an end to it, and then, um, and then I was burgled. Was Keith putting pressure on you to have a sexual relationship? No, not particularly, no. Did you engage in any sexual activity with him? No. How did he react when you ended it? Was he angry, aggressive? No. No, he dealt with it very well. So his behaviour didn't change in any way? I hardly knew the man. Laura, do you think Keith Brenman raped you? I don't know. OK. Let's give him a tug. See what he has to say. You take Laura home. Yeah. No, I want to stay. I want to stay till you've interviewed him. <sighs> okay. What Terry thinks I'm a silly old fool. I still don't know whether I've done the right thing, you know, in reporting this. You've been very brave. Oh, no, why do I feel so stupid? No, it would be stupid to keep quiet. Believe me, you'd regret it if you did. If this is the man who attacked you, then with your help, we can stop him from doing it again. Recognise him? I don't think that's Keith Cavell. Huh? It's not the same bloke I saw with June yesterday. OK. Let's assume it isn't. When was this taken? Just after ten. Uniform responded, but the suspect escaped on a motorbike. Any forensics? Well, not yet, but we'd have to wait, sir, do we? You want to pick up Keith Cavell? Well, if he's the accomplice, you know, he's the only one who's going to know about the security code. That'll be difficult. Why? 
because Keith Cavall's already in custody at Barton Street for another offence. Turns out his real name is Keith Brenman. Any other way of IDing this guy? Sure. His helmet. Oh, that will take forever. There must be millions of people with those. Not necessarily. And it's new, a top of the range Ignis. And it's got these race replica markings, see? Which means? Which means only certain dealers specialise in them. Sounds like a plan. Get onto it straight away. Happy birthday, Gary. Just think, 21 years ago, his poor mum was in agony. Hey, I was a very easy birth, me. It's because you got such a small head, mate. <laughs> so what you got planned for tonight, then, Gary? A date with a special person? Well, actually, I thought we'd all just go down the pub and get bladdered. Uh, sorry, but I can't make tonight. Well, what about you, Nick? You... Oh, let's see how I feel. Of course. Listen, you have a good night. Catch you later. Cameron! What do you remember about Dominic Saunders? You arrested him for shoplifting a couple of months ago. Yeah, scum. Right, but his name's come up in connection with the robbery. I thought you and I could follow it up. Yeah, I'm working with Honey. No, I'm sure she wouldn't mind. Hey. Yesterday you nearly had the DPS calling all over us. Or have you forgotten already? No. Just remember, I lied to save your neck. Kerry! Hi, Polly. Out to date with Max girl. Oh, it was great. Thank you so much for those. I didn't know you were going out with Max. Yeah, he called last night. He had two tickets for a show. I lent Polly some jewellery. Could have gone out and bought something new. Oh, no, her stuff was perfect. Even Max noticed. Oh, you don't have to borrow cheap stuff we didn't afford the real McCoy. Yeah, well, I've got to get on. I've got to go and see the domestic violence coordinator at the council. Check out this dress. The shop shuts at five o'clock. Oh, wow. Yeah, well, I can't bunk off. I've got appointments all day. All right, I'll cover for you. Well, if you're at a loose end, Cathy, we could do with a hand in CAD. Well, it's going to be renamed the Padded Cell. What? Well, Robbie Cry starts tomorrow, doesn't she? She's done all the training. And with a gob like that, she's going to drive everybody mad. Look, buy the dress, will you? You left you that money to spend, not to be in a bank account. Thanks, Mum. Could we make it work, Nick? Good. I thought we might start with your original notes from the arrested slackers. Take it from there. Whatever. Oh. Juliet just told me Barton Street have got first bite on Keith Brenman. That's right. Well, you're happy with that? Yep. So we just roll over? If he's a suspect in a rape case, yes. Do you know that for sure? Sergeant Atland has been seconded to Barton Street working on a serious sexual assault. I believe it's the same case. Now, under those circumstances, I think we can wait to question him on a few burglaries, don't you? Mum. Shut the door on your way out. Mum. Yeah? Can I have a quick word, Sarge? Sure. Oh, it'll be a minute, Laura. Anything I can get you, Laura? No, it's OK, thanks. OK. He denied it? Of course he did. Yes, he dated her. Yes, she's a lovely lady, etc., etc. But when he saw how fragile Laura was, he backed off. What about the driving licence? Oh, yeah, the one so conveniently left at the crime scene. Yeah, all right, I know it's odd, but he could have lost it there. Brenman said it was stolen a month ago. He even reported it. You check that out? Of course. And what about the false names? That's one for your lot, I'm afraid. He won't comment. Has he got an alibi for the night of the attack? Yes. What, even after I walked out on him? He went to see an old girlfriend. Not only that, they spent the night together. You're not thinking of letting him go, are you? Look, forensics could still turn something up, but I can't keep him in custody until I get the results. Now, if the girlfriend checks out, I'm going to have to bail him and send him to Sun Hill. I'm sorry. Mickey, I've got to go out for a while. Oh, business or pleasure, girl? Where are we with Brendan? Barton Street just rang his house. OK, so like the transfer. I'll get Julia over there. I bet he's going out for a bit of lunchtime love, don't you think? You think too much, do you mean? No. Maybe you're right. I thought of Jack in bed with someone. <laughs> it's a bit like your parents. Keith Brennan's transfer to Sun Hill means it's only a matter of time before news of the rape leaks out. I've, I've always been honest with you. I never...
promise that we could keep this a secret? Yeah, I know. I wonder if you should tell Jack yourself. It might be better coming from you. Better? <laughs> oh, who for? Him or me? We're not together anymore. He left me, remember? I don't have to tell him anything. I'd like to go home now, please. Sure. Hello? Yeah, no, so sure. Never going to the now. Yeah. Cheers, darling. What are you doing sitting on your own? It's my birthday, innit? I can do what I want. Oh dear. You got one of them faces my mum calls a slap bum. Yeah, have a chip and cheer up. Look, I'm sorry, it's just. Well, I'm 21, aren't I? And no one will come and celebrate with us. All I want to do is go down the pub and get trashed. Well, you ain't asked me yet, have you? Yeah, well, I bet you're busy, aren't you? I am, as a matter of fact. I'm going out with you. Yeah? Yeah. I thought we could go to some nice wine bar. Not some spotty old man's pub. What? Just me and you? I know it's not what you're expecting, darling, but I'll make it up to you. Right. Just for the record, I haven't enough I've been mocked about. I'm not seeing another word until my solicitor arrives. Terry. This is Mickey. Mickey, this is DC Terry Perkins. Hello. How are you doing? I knew my phone is useful. Credit card statements, mobile phone bills, found them during our search. Great, well I'll cross-reference them against the credit card details on the helmets. Okay. Do you find any jewelry at the elbow flat? Sorry, mate, no luck. Oh, uh, I'll be in touch. See you later. Is the DCI not back yet? No. No, he's probably taking his time, especially if it's to do with Laura. Jack's wife? Yeah. What about her? Just saw her leaving Barton Street. Was she with anyone? Yeah, Sergeant Atkins. Hang on. Are you serious? Of course. Terry! Yeah? You're questioning Keith Bremen over an allegation of rape. That's right, but his alibi worked out. Was a victim Laura Meadows? I can't comment on that. I might on that. You know I can't tell you that, Mickey. Mickey, has Brenman arrived yet? Yeah, he has. Good, because I've had a bad morning. Let's hope he gets better. I've heard, Gov. I'm so sorry. Sorry? About Laura. What, something happened to Laura? Tell me you know, Gov. Know what? Know what, Mickey? This better not be a wind-up. It ain't, Gov. Sergeant Ackland was seconded to Barton Street this morning on a rape case. Laura's the victim. Right, who's the investigating officer? DC Terry Perkins. Give me his number. I don't know it. Give me his number! I, I don't know it, Gov. And Keith Brennan was the suspect? Yeah, he's got an alibi. The man we got in custody? Yeah, we're questioning him on the personal ad burglaries. Right, well, you better get on with it then. Gov. So what are we looking for? The manager gets robbed, but he doesn't prosecute. Happens all the time. It was Saunders as a top boulder, and this guy runs the only shop in Sun Hill. I reckon they know each other. I think there's more to this. Sounds like a lot of assumptions to me. Look, I can understand that you being angry with me for making you lie yesterday. I'm sorry about that. I really am. I don't ever, ever want to put you in that position again. But I was hoping we might be able to just put all this behind us and get on with the job. Please. Man. It was hurting my head. <coughs> Mr. Jackson. 
PC Tate. I arrested Dominic Saunders in here about two months back for shoplifting. He threatened you with a stun gun. Yeah, I remember. What do you want? We're investigating another robbery in which a stun gun was used. One of the suspects' description matches Dominic Saunders. So go and find him, because I don't know where he is. And what happened here, then? Display collapsed. What, and ripped a sweatshirt? So what are these, then? Wheels. The new in, best you can get. So did you go to the States much? No. No? Must have to go out there and check out new ranges, where all the stuff's made. No. And you can afford to shift them at that price, can you? It's cutting out stuff. It's what the kids want. Kids like Dominic? Dominic's off the radar, man. I banned him. You banned him? Cool or scatter around? Yeah. Now, excuse me. You convinced now, then? Hmm. Let's go boarding. Laura! Go away, Jack. It's not a good time. It's all right, Laura. I know what happened. Look, just let me in, will you? I'm going to stay here until you do. Find out. Not Jim. No. It was one of my officers. He thought I knew. Why didn't you tell me? Oh, I've had excellent support. June Ackland's been brilliant. Laura. Took me back to the scene. Helped me remember. I put up a good fight, Jack. I really did. I didn't just let him do it. I even... I bit him. Yeah? Yeah, I just remembered. I bit him hard on the inside of his arm when he held me around my neck. Right, shall I tell June? No. No, I can manage. I'll sort this out for you. No! DC Perkins is following up the leads. We're just waiting for forensics. You came here, Jack. I didn't ask you to. Well, you're still my wife. Well, soon to be ex-wife. Did the officer tell you how it happened, by the way? How I was out on the street late at night on my own? No. How I'd had too much to drink? No. And how I, a policeman's wife for all these years, didn't even think about my own safety? I mean, how stupid is that? So why don't you blame me, Jack? Go on, blame me. Blame me for what happened. Because I would rather have that than your pity. I don't want your pity. Yeah, I'd like to talk to DC Perkins, please. Interesting artwork, Cameron. Well, they say London is the capital of culture. Put your feet in the catch position, yeah? Give it a block, like this. Flatten up, and roll it away. Hello, Dom. Remember me? What's this? You want a lesson? Cameron, check the wheels. Where'd you get your wheels, mate? From Slacker. I've got these, too. Yeah, when did you get them? This morning. Now, did you pay for them? Cash deposit? You got a receipt? That's not how Jackson works. He should be, he runs a business. Look, he takes care of me. He's even got me some protection. Because I'm turning pro, innit? You're turning pro. Why not? I'm good. Watch. You want to search his backpack for the stun gun? No. 
I'd like to check the victim's description first, then we can go back to Slackers. Come on. I think Jackson lied to us about going to the States, and I want to know why. He's good. I tried skateboarding once. Fell off and broke my ankle. <laughs> Hey, how's the interview with Bremnan going? It ain't. Well, this might cheer you up. Look, I finally managed to finish checking out the mobile phone bills and I tracked down three of the women that Bremnan dated who then got burgled. The dates work out? Yeah. After seeing each woman for the last time, he then ring that number and spoke to an Andy Morris. The same A. Morris who bought Enigma's helmet from his dealer six weeks ago. And the addresses match? Yep. And what's more, the dealer told me that Morris owes him for spare parts on his bike. Pick him up, girl. Would your last slave die of? Sorry. I'll deal with this first and I'll sort it out. All right, yeah. Cheers. Interview recommends at 1401. Mr. Bremner, do you know Mr. Andrew Morris? Mr. Jackson. Yeah. I would like to buy a set of those wheels I was checking out earlier, please. I've got cash. What size? 54 millimeters. Yeah, 54. Hey, what are you doing? Says here that Dominic Saunders was in your shop this morning. As you said, he was banned. He is. So how can we just saw him down the skate park, kitted out in all your gear? And talking about your special relationship and how you get him some protection. What's he talking about, Jackson? Right. We are investigating a very serious crime here involving a prohibited weapon. If you don't start giving us some answers, we can continue this down the station. Okay. Okay. What happened? Put down a deposit on some wheels and shoes. Then he decided he was going to take him without paying the balance. I tried to explain it doesn't work like that, but he kicked off. He trashed the place? Yeah. And you didn't report it? No. I can't afford to lose him. What do you mean? I run a business based on image. Did you know Dom's thinking about turning professional? Ah, oh, come on, you don't believe that, do you? No, I don't, but the kids do, which is all that matters. That means they want to buy what he buys, which is good for me. So when Dominic says jump, I have to play along. And does that mean getting him a stun gun from the States? Well, does it then, Mr. Jackson? He said he needed it. Other boarders were jealous. They might try and injure him. How'd you smuggle it? With an order for the shop. So he deliberately broke the law to keep him with some flaky skater kid? Look, if Dom's happy, I'm happy. It's a straightforward business decision. Excuse me. What, you want to try? Oh, he wants to see a pig on wheels. <laughs> no reason to believe you're carrying a prohibited weapon, Dominic. Therefore, I've decided to carry out a stop and search examination. What? Turn your pockets out, please, mate. Just back off! Mr. Man, you've had your fun, all right? Don't make it any worse. Put it down. Get my board! Get my board! Dominic, put it down! Stop, police! You're nicked, mate. This bite mark should be significant. We could knock a hole in Bradman's alibi. Should you be here, Gov? I mean, you are personally involved. It's not about me. Can you take your jacket off, please, Mr. Why? Morris? Can you just take it off, please? Great. You again. Pull your sleeves up, please, Mr. Bradman. What? I need to check someone. I'm not doing anything. Right on first, please. Now the left. Satisfied? Stop. Andrew Morris has been charged with personal act burglaries. What's that on your arm? Answer me. Nothing. What were you doing the night before last? That's a bite mark, isn't it? And you know, Keith. Oh, Brendan, get oh, 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 out of it. Take it out of it. Leave it. I know you, and I love you. Huh? 
做些给我用的。Oh, you're telling me, did you? I thought you knew, Gav. I'll pull you the other. I swear. So what's this all about, then, eh? I think I'm going to become all guilty now that Laura was right. I'm knocking it on the head with Rachel. I didn't mean anything by it. I thought you knew what happened to Laura. Rachel's a woman I'm with. Laura was my wife. Now you deal with that. I'm out of here. And don't turn your back on me, Constable. Don't, don't you think Laura needs you more than any prostitute does at the moment, Gav? Eh? Tell me you understand that, Gav. Oh, so, so I get back to Laura, yeah? And when I move back in, what are you going to say? You're going to have the bedroom out the back or we're going to convert the attic for you? Well, I'm sorry? Never knew you, Dan, did you? What? I'm not your father, Mickey. I'm your senior officer. Detective Chief Inspector. You don't call me Dad, you call me Sir. Or Guff, if I let you. Now, what happens in my life is my affair. And if you ever, ever stick your grubby little nose into my business again, your feet won't touch the floor. And just get out of my sight. Gladly. Sir. I'm now showing the suspect exhibit TP1 and TP2. These are found in your flat, Andy. Whose are they? Mine. <laughs> no, they're not. These jeans and trainers belong to Keith Brenman. He said they went missing about a month ago. What are they doing in your gaff? We must have left them there. OK. What about this? TP3. Found at the crime scene, no less. And what would I want with Keith Bremen's license? Oh, nothing. Except, of course, you wanted to fit him up. No. For a rape. That's not true. Listen to me. If those bite marks on your arm match the victim's teeth, you're in serious trouble, my friend. The question is, why, oh, Mickey? Why frame Keith? I didn't. Keith's done well for himself, hasn't he, Andy? Nice house. Good job. Flashy motor. What about you? Life treated you well, has it? I found my level. Actually, I hear it's more of a case of you're out of your depth. You've got debts everywhere, aren't you? See, we have done a bit of digging. Bank accounts, credit cards. Yeah, OK, look, things are a bit tricky at the moment. A bit tricky? That's not what Keith said. He said you wanted him to bail you out. Not earning enough out of the personal ad scam, mate. Eh? Yeah. Sorry, wrong interview. No, I wasn't. It was never enough. Sit down, Andy. Please. I pushed him for bigger targets, more money, but he said no, no, it wouldn't be any fun anymore. Forensics will convict you, Andy. You know that. Now, if there's anything you want to tell us about Keith Bowman, now's your chance. Now sit down. It's all been a big game for him, but not for me. I hadn't been so lucky. So when I asked him to help me out, and he said no, I said, right, well, I'm, I'm going to teach you a lesson. I'm going to make you suffer, you smug, arrogant little... Go on. You ready, then? Yeah. Listen, I was thinking maybe we could go catch a film, then go for a meal. Oh, come on, Gary. I've been looking forward to a quick drink. <laughs> quick? Sorry, I can only stay for one. I'm afraid she's already left the building. Thanks, anyway. We'll go to her home. I think she's gone to a work social event. Whereabouts? Surely this could be done by appointment. Can't this wait till tomorrow morning? No. It's too urgent for that. I'll try and find out. Mickey, have you any idea where this part is? Uh, Gary's? It's at the wine bar up by the river. What are you thinking again? <laughs> no. Do you think Polly's there? Yeah, I would have thought so. Thank you. Sir? Mickey? Don't I know that bloke? DCI Ross. He handled a serial killer case. MIT? You sure this place is okay? You can always go to the pub across the street. Come on.
Yeah? Jack, I thought you'd want to know. Andy Morris has been charged with Laura's rape. It appears he wanted to frame Keith Brenman. So it was personal? And deliberate. Laura was made a target. What about the personal ad burglaries? We charged him with those too. And it appears that we've got enough to charge Bremel with conspiracy. If we can persuade the CPS. I realise it's been a tough day, Jack. Speaking personally, I hated keeping this from you. But it was Laura's request. How's she coping? Is she doing okay? Well, I suppose I should go around and see her. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. Anyway, if you ever want to talk about it. Well, I was going to have a drink. You fancy one? This one's on me. I'd like to give you the benefit of the doubt. Thank you. It's a crystal for channeling the energy. You hang it in a window. What, like a bedroom window? So why don't you come back to mine and put it up for me? Oh, Gary, look, I like you honestly, I do, but not like that. Honey, can I... Please, Gary, don't make me say it. I just don't have those feelings. When did you get out of prison? Six weeks ago. I came round to the station. Did you invite her? She, uh, she said to come along to the party. Hey, happy birthday. I don't want nothing from you. Not today, or not ever. So just go, please. Get out! Gary! You stupid bitch! No. I think I better get going. You got anything planned? Well, I, I was going to have a drink with this uh, woman that I've been seeing, but after what's happened, I'm not so sure. I'll see you in the morning. Yeah, good night. Dad, and he's just been in prison for ABH for beating up Gary's mum. Oh. You didn't ask, did you? His mum? Yeah, and it was Gary who shocked him. Oh, no. Listen, go and talk to him. Yeah? I reckon if anybody can put it right, it'd be you. So he's not your type. <laughs> what, the guy at the bar? <laughs> You've got to be joking. What about you? You seem better. Look, Andrew's with the babysitter. Flat to myself, wine in the fridge. What are we waiting for? Mm. Okay. Mm. 
I'm so sorry. I should never have invited your dad. Robbie told me what he did. What? That you beat up my mum? Yeah. And did she tell you how often he beat her up? How I'd come home from school to find her sitting on the stairs? Or in the bathroom trying to hide the bruises with her makeup? Not once, or twice. Three times a week it had happened. And always the Friday evenings. Regular as clockwork, just after the pub had shut. We had years of this. Years of hoping that one day my dad would be so drunk that he'd just walk under a bus and my mum could stop crying. Years of my mum being so scared that she couldn't do anything. Then one day I felt brave. Brave enough to bunk off school, go down the local police station, and make it stop. Gary. My own dad. You've been through so much. Look, why don't you come back to my place? What? You shouldn't be on your own tonight. Come and stay with me. No thanks, I'd rather get drunk. fast as I could, Paul. It's all right, don't worry. The party's just started. Polly Page. Yeah? I'm DCI Ross from MIT. I'm here to arrest you for the murder of Dr. Owen Preston. You do not have to say anything, but you may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned something you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Next time on The Bill. I only turned you down because it was a night. I'm not upset, darling. I'm grateful. We had sex. Get over it. I have. I didn't even know about the money. Not until afterwards. We only have your word for that. 